Hello, and welcome to the Sibelius Soundset Tutorial for Symphonic Orchestra Play Edition Version 2. My name is Jared, and I'm from Synthnosis.com, and today I'm going to be walking you through the setup process. This sound set is going to enable you to use your Symphonic Orchestra samples using the Play software in Sibelius for a more realistic playback more so than a synthesizer MIDI instrument. Please download the appropriate sound set for the library that you own, and I'll take you from there. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need to do is make sure that we can see hidden files and folders, and this process is going to be slightly different for Windows XP, and this is going to be using Windows Vista. You need to go to Start, and Settings, and then Control Panel, and go to Folder Options. Make sure you're on the View tab, scroll down just a little bit, and make sure that Hidden Files and Folders is selected, and make sure that Show Hidden Files and Folders is filled in on the left here, and click Apply, and then OK. And the next thing that we need to do is go to the user account folder. Now um, we're going to see the app data folder here and we're going to see that it's dimmed because it was originally a um, hidden folder. Let's go inside and we need to go to roaming and then Sibelius software and then Sibelius 5. This process is going to be slightly different depending on which operating system you're using. Please see the manual for the correct directory for Windows XP. You're going to have four different folders that we're going to be working with here, and they are house styles, manuscript paper, playback configurations, and sounds. And if you don't have any of these directories, you need to right-click, create a new folder, and name them to the appropriate folders as in the manual. Okay, let's open our sound set here, and we're going to see a number of different files. And um, the first step that we need to take is taking two of these files and putting them into the Sibelius 5 directory. Let's go back and we need to go into the house styles folder here first of all and you're going to see that I have a number of files here from previous installations and this may not appear for you. Let's go back to the sound set directory take the library file .lib file and drop it into the house styles folder as you can see I have mine here okay now the second thing is going to be going into the um, sounds folder and you're going to see that I have XML files in this one go back to the sound set directory that you downloaded take the XML file and drop it in to the sounds folder here as you can see I have it right here okay and next we're going to go into the manuscript paper folder okay when I go inside you're going to notice that I already have some templates in here as you can see so we need to get those in there as well let's go to the sound set that you downloaded and go into the manuscripts folder and as you can see all of them are right here take all of these templates and drop them into the manuscript paper folder that you created in the Sibelius 5 directory now there's only going to be one last step here and it's going into the playback configurations folder and as you can see I have quite a bit of them here and this is for the tutorial's sake. Okay, let's go into the playback configurations folder in the sound set that you downloaded. Now for simplicity's sake I'm only going to drop in a couple of these and depending on the system and the setup that you have it's going to vary. Okay, for example I'm going to say that I only need two of them which are going to be play for instances and loop B30 which is a virtual MIDI cable. I would take both of these XML files and drop them into the playback configurations folder and that's just about going to wrap it up for this directory but there's one last step before we finally complete installation. The last thing that we need to do is go into the multis directory in the sound set that you downloaded. Okay, and you're going to notice that you have four different directories here, one for each section of the orchestra. The next step is going into the directory where your library is installed on your system. So let's go there now. Okay, this is where my libraries are installed. Let's go into the Symphonic Orchestra directory and you need to go into the Instruments directory and mine is called Platinum Instruments. As you can see here, I'm going to have four different sections of the orchestra here. What we need to do is go back to the sound set and you're going to see that we have four different folders here. We need to take these folders and drop them into each corresponding section of the orchestra. For example, as you can see here, I've dropped the folder into the brass directory and you're going to need to do the same for each section. It's going to be brass, percussion, strings, and woodwinds. Okay. Okay, as you can see here, I've already dropped them in for each corresponding section and this is going to wrap it up for the installation process.